Welcome sa sip9.com. Uh, in this video, itutuloy natin yung ating series on how to solve age problems. Dito sa video na to, this is the sixth video, uh, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba mag-solve ng problem na mayroong fractions. Ano? So, basahin natin yung ating problem. Bill is four times as old as Carol. One-fifth of Bill's age added to one-half Carol's age is equal to 13 years. How old are both of them? So, of course, ang pinakaunang clue natin dito sa video na to ay um, mas matanda si Bill kay Carol, no? So, if, uh, for example, Carol is, uh, say, 11 years old, no? Uh, Bill would be 44, no? Since, since Bill is 4 times as old, no? So, magiging 4 times, 11 siya, which is equal to 44. So, if, 11, if Carol is 11, Bill is... 44. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, in general, since hindi naman natin alam yung age ni Carol, we, we can let x be the age of Carol. So, if Carol is x, x years old, then Bill is 4 times the age of Carol. So, 4x siya, yung kanyang age. This is age of Bill. Okay? And then, ito yung unang ano natin, ano? Unang sentence natin. Next, one-fifth of Bill's age. So, one-fifth. Of Bill's age. Sinabi na natin of, ano ibig sabihin nun? Multiplication, ano? Kasi one, one half of ten is five, one half of... Uh, 12 is 6, 1 fifth of 20 is 4. So, ibig sabihin multiplication. 1 fifth of 4x, no? 1 fifth of Bill's age, added to, added is siyempre plus, 1 half Carol's age. 1 half, anong age ni Carol? x, no? Is equal to 13 years. Okay? So, meron na tayong equation. Madali na siya, no? So, all we have to do is to simplify muna yung equation. Mga ah, iba't ibang kla klase ng pag-simplify, ano? So, dito pwede natin isimplify yung 1 fifth times 4x, which is equal to, ano ba ang 1 fifth times 4? Huh? Ano ba ginagawa natin pag nag-multiply tayo ng uh, fraction at saka whole number? So, ginagawa nating fraction din yung whole number, no? So, magiging over 1. Kasi one, 4 is the same as 4 over 1. So, 1 fifth times 4 over 1 is 4 over 5. No? You multiply lang yung numerator at yung denominator. So, this becomes 4 over 5x plus 1 half x. Pwede na natin tanggalin yung parenthesis. Dahil pareho lang naman yan, ano? equals 13. So, this means multiplication and this also means uh, multiplication. You see natin yung x na konti. Okay. Okay. So, meron tayong fractions, ano? And our fractions are not um, similar. So, usually, gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung LCD nito and then gagawin natin tong similar fraction but we have uh, we have another side you know? another side of the equal sign so ang pinakamagandang technique dito is to get the LCM or LCD and then multiply everything by the LCD so LCD of or LCM pareho lang naman siya no? 5 and 2 is 10 ano? so paano yung kinuha yung 10? Pag kumuha tayo ng common multiple, multiple kinukuha natin yung mga multiples muna, di ba? So, ano ba ang multiples of 2? 2, uh, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, ano? And then yung 5 naman, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. Kinukuha natin yung least, yung pinakamaliit, least common multiple. Ano yung common? Ito, ano? So, yung pinakauna. Kasi may mga common pa yan later, like 20. 
So, pag tinuloy pa natin to meron 20 dito. Common din yung 20, but ang kinukuha natin yung least common multiple. So, the least common multiple of 5 and 2 is 10, ano? And what, what we do is, we multiply everything by 10. So, multiply everything by 10. No? So, 10 times 4 over 5x plus 10 times 1 half x equals 10 times 13. No? So, again, pwede na natin idiretso ito, no? So, 10 over 1, di ba? 10 over 1 times 4 fifths. No? So, 10 times 4 is 40. And then, yung over 1 natin dito. 1 times 5 is 5. And then, yung x plus over 1 din yan. So, 10 times 1 is 10 over 2. Pwede nyo na yung indiretso, no? pero pwede pakita ko lang yung details. 10 over 2x equals 130. So, from here, pwede na natin isimplify. So, from here, what is 40 over 5? This is 8x plus, what is 10 over 2? 5, and then x, and then equals 130. 8x at saka 5x, pag inad natin magiging, 13x equals 130. And if we divide both sides by 13, we get x equals 10. Ano? Ibig sabihin, x is 10. Therefore, si Carol ay 10 years old. At si Bill ay 4 times 10, no? Four, four times the age of Carol. So, 40 siya. No? Okay? So, we can actually check, ano? What is... Uh, una sentence, pwede natin check dito, no? Bill is four times as old as Carol. So, 40 is four times 10. Tama ba? Tama. One-fifth of Bill's age. One-fifth. We check. One-fifth of Bill's age. Ilan taon si Bill? 40. Plus, added to one half Carol's age is equal to 13, sabi niya. So, ano, ano ang one fifth ng 40? So, magiging 40 over 5 yan, di ba? So, this is 8. Plus, ano yung one half ng 10? Kalahati ng 10? 5. 13 ba siya? Okay, 13. So, we are correct. No? So, ibig sabihin tama yung solution natin. Okay, so I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to and maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.